Hey guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new. My name is Charlene and welcome. I'm going to be doing a look from my Instagram which received a ton of love which was this one right here. Um, I'll show it on eye as well, that's what it's with. We got this one right here, it's a green smoky eye and I did this with the James Charles mini palette so first of all we're going to prime our eyelids because that's what i did in the first thing but first of all we're going to bring you closer so as you can see you're very very close this is as close as i can get you i don't have one of the magnifying zoom ins so the base i do work off is the p louise base i do love this base it's the best base in the world i believe i believe and my lips were a little bit dark there and this look kind of reminded me of gus from rhesus so that's what i'm going this is what it's going to be it's going to be gus from rhesus it's the final look that we need to do so it reminded me of gus because of everything that i did so first of all I need to prime my eyelids, I use a fluffy brush which I use a Real Techniques angled eyeshadow brush, you can use any brush and I put a little bit, I normally put it on my back of my hand but today I'm going to put it on a cardigan just because it's just so much easier to wipe off. So we're going to do one eye at a time, this is the base we're using and this is the shade Rumour 2. So that's the shade we're using and this, I do love the P. Louise base, base. I do love the P. Louise base, I think it's really really good, I think it's just a good base you know and i tend to really tap it on because that's the way you get more coverage you know coverage um the, the eyelashes i'm going to use are the, from tatty lashes and they are the tail 39s which look incredible i'll show you them these are the lashes that i'm going to put on they are the tl 39s they just look the spacey you can actually see your eyeshadow with the other ones I used, I think I used like a Primark ones that weren't spacey but was just like natural. So I think that's what I used. So okay, that is all I'm doing with that. Then I'm going to take the James Charles mini palette. I can't find the sheet. The sheet is somewhere. I don't know if it's just me, but do you ever lose inserts? Oh, found the inset. So I'm going to see what colours I do use. The colours I used were all on the bottom row of the, bo uh, the greens. So the first the one I'm going to take is Social Blade. I'm going to take Social Blade, which is this lime green right here. Take on a fluffy brush and put that into our crease. Just put it into our crease. I think this is a really good, really nice green. It's very light, but I think I builded this up as well. Have to remember what I did. I know I did use a yellow in fact, but I'm just going to build up that colour. This is a very pigment, it's very pigmented, it, it, it is, it blends out really beautifully. What do you like with the James Charles uh, X Morphe palette? Where they are beautiful colours, they blend out really easily. Some colours will be a little bit, I wouldn't say patchy, they'll just be a little harder to blend because how deep they are, like dark purples are really hard to blend. Dark purples, whatever, any dark purple you do have, it goes really... Some, some of it is really patchy because the dark purple are just hard to create. So as you can see, we've got that. And then what I'm going to do is going to take the shade, I'm going to shake the shade B, and B is this yellow colour right here. So I'm going to pop a little bit on, and I'm going to pop that above the green, so it just fan it out even more. I'm just going to put it right up top there. Next, we're going to take a dark green. And we're going to take the shade Daddy, which is this shade right here, which is the dark green, which I absolutely love. And we're going to put that on the outer corner and put it a little bit into the crease. So what we're going to do is just shove that into the outer corner. This is pigmented, as you can see. It's very pigmented. I'm just going to tap it onto the outer corner first and just put it into the crease as well. So it deepens up the crease colour a little bit more. I tend to put it up a little bit higher just because I have a little bit of because I have hooded eyes and that's what I do have and then I'm just gonna kind of get take it out as well and I can see it just goes beautifully then I take the other brush I take a little bit of the green that I use called social blade and pop and just put that right here so it just blends out a little bit more and it blends out a little bit easily all the colours just blend in and they're not blending together they're just you can see the own little colours so you can see the greens the different type of greens you can see the different yellow that's on top there it's just blending out all together nicely which i love now we're going to get a flat brush and we're going to take the shade guac and guac is a very i'm going to take some setting spray as well so guac is this kind of shimmery green down here and i put this color guac 
which is very, very, very thingy. This is why I do my eyes first. And just put it on. And you can see this is what it is like when it's dry. It is very pigmented. And you can see it's very pigmented. But I like to put a little bit of setting spray on. A little bit of setting spray. Go back into the guac colour and just intensify even more. So when it's dry, it's very pigmented, but if you do wet it, it kind of goes that metallic -y color, if you can see that. I just think it's beautiful. And then I go back in with this shade, uh, no extra product, and just kind of blend that out together. All colors on the eyes, and that is it. So next we're gonna do some eyeliner, and the eyeliner is liquid liner, and I'm gonna be taking, I'll probably take the Stila one, do I have to see the one of you? Yes, I do. The one I've got is a bit, it's a bit going out of date, uh, going out, not going out of date, it's just need some more. So I'm just going to put this in the, in the corner and that is the wing. So that is the wing that I did for that. And then I'm not going to do the inner corner until I've done the rest of the face because I feel like the rest of the face is going to be fine. So the brow bone, I'm going to go in with the colour ring light i think i used a ring light which is this top this top one right here i think i did use that to go underneath my brow let's see yeah i definitely used a ring light to go so as you can see one eye is done i'm gonna go off camera do the other eye i'm gonna do the face as well and then i'm gonna show you what i did like probably on the face and lips as well but i will tell you my base once i come back i just done my foundation my my primer foundation my concealer my powder and my bronzer and that's it but first of all, we're going to do underneath the eye so we're going to go back with the james charles palette and we're going to start with a flat definer brush like this this is a morphe jh 43 it's to collab with jacqueline so we're going to go with back in with, we're going to go in daddy we're going to tap that off on our brush and then we're just going to stamp the lower lash line so you should end up with this underneath the lash line just stamped then we're going to go in with a pencil brush and take social we're going to take social blade next onto a pencil brush tap off the excess and we're going to smudge out the i'm going to put that below just going to blend that out so then we're going to i'm going to take a that was a pencil brush this is just the jh40 i'm going to take social blade again and then i'm going to go with the fluffier brush and then what we've got there we've got them to collide now what we're going to do is take the shade b and put that just underneath Okay, so we've got that. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to take the JH37 and just blend it all out like that. So everything's blended, it's all nice. Then we're going to take flat ring light and put it in the inner corner on both sides. And I'm going to do a little bit more above my brow bone. Okay, so, so it's like that. Then we're going to put some bottom lash mascara on to our eyelashes. And we've got the bottom lash mascara on. Now we're going to take a brown, a black eyeliner, like a gel, whatever you want. You can use gel. Lower lash line in the inner waterline. So there we go. Our eyes complete. The eyelashes are tier 39s. Tier 39s. So I'm going to do the rest of the face. Now the blush I used was California because I love that blush so much i just keep wearing california because it's a beautiful blush i think it's beautiful put this on our face there we go that looks it does look harsh on camera and we're it's not harsh if you feel like it's harsh yourself just blend it all out like that so it takes some harsh now i'm going to do a highlighter i'm going to go in with soph does nails highlighter and i'm going to take the gold one because so i'm just going to do this Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, beautiful. And then I used that on my nose as well. So I went on the tip of my nose, like so. And then I think I went down my nose as well, like so. And the lips. I used Rock Sand by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I used this. This is very, very dark, but I did use it. So I waited till that dried down. As you can see, it's very dark. Rock Sand is a dark nude i absolutely love it though because it's just beautiful it's dark but i want it a little bit lighter so i put dose of colors canyon nut on top which it still did dark but it just lightened it up just a tad 
I just think this looks exactly like the Gus Gus Griswold. Then I'm just gonna set my face. So guys, if you do like the makeup look, please let me know down in the comments below. Please give this video a big thumbs up as well. If you wanna subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.